Yeah. Boxing here with Kenda Hope. How's it going, man? Uh, it's going real good. Uh, so I see you've been working with Keith, uh, getting him ready for Danny Garcia. How's that been going for you so far? It's been going good for me. I mean, I'm down here away from the snow, so as long as I get to stay down here, I'm good. I told him to postpone the fight, so I can stay another couple weeks. When did you get in? I got in uh, beginning of the month. Beginning of the month. Okay, so you missed that blizzard, right? Oh yeah, I definitely missed that. <laughs> did it hit Jersey or was it just oh, like it, New York? It, no, it hit, it hit New Jersey. I, my, uh, my girl was sending me videos, like look what's going on. You know, the snow and the winter just made people angry. And she sent me a video. Oh, you're down in Florida. Look what I got to deal with. And all that. <laughs> so did you go to the beach and take a selfie? Like, uh, I sent her pictures and videos of palm trees and sunshine <laughs> and the big clouds, everything. Now, uh, Squirrel with Keith, man. Uh, you know, you're getting ready for you. You're in the room with Danny Garcia. Um, what, what's some advice you can give him as far as, uh, as Danny as an opponent in the ring? You know what? Let me tell you about. Let me tell you about Keith. Keith is like Keith is like the little brother. He used to teach everything to. He used to tell him everything. And then you went away to college, or you went away to the military, and now you're back, and you're trying to tell him something. And then he tells you something, and you, and you used to sit back like, damn, my little brother just came up. Yeah, so, you know what? Keith is smart. He know the game. Is You can give him a little, uh, a few tips here and there. Um, but the one tip that I try to remind him of is that he has to stay on the phone. <clears throat> and what I mean by stay on the phone is then he has impeccable timing. Excuse me. He has impeccable timing with that left hook. He catches guys coming in, he catches guys going out. And he's patient. He's patient and he throws that left hook as soon as he sees the opening. And the timing is impeccable. So I just tell him, remind him, whatever you're doing, when you're going in, you're pulling out, keep that hand, keep that right hand up. Sometimes it'll feel like it's up because you have these big gloves on, it's a little bit of protection. But remember when you fight, the gloves are gonna be really small. So when you're training, you're hitting the bag, you're shadow boxing, we're sparring, try to keep it up a little higher so you can get used to having that hand up. Now, is Danny, is it the timing that does it or is he really that strong? I don't know if he's that strong, but the but timing is everything. Yeah. <clears throat> Timing is everything when you're picking fights. Timing is everything when you're developing a fighter, a basketball player, a football player, a musical artist. Timing is everything. And he, his timing is excellent. Okay, now, so a lot of people thought that that hook he landed on Khan was lucky because his eyes were closed and he just landed it. So, are you telling me that that was timing or was, do you think that that was a lucky punch? In this game, at this level, there's no such thing as luck. Yeah. And he, he's, he's a professional. He, this is the way he practices. This is what he practices. You see, he's done it in that fight. He, he's done it in countless other fights where he looks like he's looking down and he lets that left hook go. And it's wide, so it's hard to see it coming from the angle. So I don't think it's, I don't, I don't give anything luck in, in boxing at this level. It's what he's trained for. Yeah, so you, you guys fought and uh, ended up being a split decision. Um, did you entertain the rematch? Did you try to get a rematch with him? No, I didn't entertain the rematch. I will now, though. <laughs> Back then, I didn't. I had a lot of stuff going on. Um, and um, I just wanted to move forward with my career. And, uh, so I, I didn't entertain the rematch. But I definitely will now. So when are we going to see you again, man? Uh, I'm working on something. Definitely, I want to fight a few times in 2017. Are right, you still gonna fight at 140? Nah, I'm moving up to 47. I actually contribute losing weight to uh, a bunch of losses I have uh, in recent losses, recent losses in the past, and I, I and then that's from due to making weight. So I'm gonna listen to my people now, and I'm definitely gonna uh, make the move to 47. So who, who are you working with now? Who's, uh, who's training you now? I'm back with my uh, trainer that I was with uh, when I was coming up. Um, and when I won my championships, and that's uh, terrific gifts from Patterson, New Jersey. All right, this is Brian with Stock State Boxing here with uh, Kendall Holt. Uh, see, you gonna be at the fight March 4th? Absolutely. I haven't been to a fight in years, and this one I'm, I'm definitely gonna be at. I, I, nobody should miss this fight. All right, man. Well, we'll be there, so I hope to see you, man. All right. Hey, good talking to you.